All right, so we're going to install the new Stello and get that started and see what this process is like. The Dexcom Stello dropped this week, and um, in my last video, I did an unboxing, and I said that I ordered the Stello um, yesterday morning when it dropped, and it just it arrived today. So it was a, it was an overnight ship the next day or whatever, and so that was very quick. And I got and I got two of the sensors and I'm not getting a subscription. I ordered just a one time. So my price was $99 for the month, which is two sensors. Each are supposed to last 15 days, we'll see. And um, so with shipping and all that, I think it was about $108. That was my cost. So I got it in my box and here it is. So I'm gonna walk you through the whole process. Um, you know, they have all this stuff in there. Oh, where did it, did it go? Ah, you know, it comes inside the box. They've got the um, information and it had a little QR code to scan. And then that QR code queues up all the instructions. Um, so you can follow the instructions for setup and um, installing the app on your phone um, right there on your phone. They also come to an insert with a huge paper instruction. So, you know, because some people really are analog people and they want to read it on paper, um, but it's all on the phone. So I went through all that. I had a Dexcom account already. Um, here's what I'm interested in. I'm still interested to find out if this connects with Clarity, but I'll let you know later. Um, one thing they don't say is on the um, application, um, they say to wash your hands and then just wipe the, the site with alcohol. I have always, when using a Libre, I have always washed the skin with soap and water, unmoisturized soap and water. Um, and then use the alcohol rub. I find that's really important because one of the big deals is this: these things falling off. And, um, you know, oil, any kind of oil is the death of adhesive, of medical adhesive. So, um, yeah. Well, anyways, I'm going to walk you through setting this up because so I have, I've done that. I've done the alcohol thing. And I'm just like, you know, I've got it on the phone. And so this is... It's a lot like the Libra. Um, this is that I've used. So you're supposed to unscrew the cap on this. Don't touch the inside. And then I'm supposed to, what you're doing is you're gonna put it where you want it. And this is only proof for the back of the arm. We've talked about alternate sites, which I think are still valid, but let's just do it with they say so not the side of the arm which is more likely to get caught by sports bras and door frames um, so i'm doing the back of the arm and you push in until you depress the thing to do it yeah so the inside is now flush with the outside and then i push the button that's on the outside here oh this button there we go so that's in. Well, I'm going to put this all back together. So there we are. And then this is all medical adhesive on the outside. So it's they even say to do this. And I always I usually use a spoon around here as so I just push around the outside of the sensor to just get that adhesive working really well. And they give you a little overlay ring. Let's see what they say here. It says remove applicator, save applicator because you'll need its pairing code. Okay. Oh, I see. There's a little pairing code on the outside. And screw cap back on applicator. Rub patch. We did that. Gently press the top of the sensor for 10 seconds. This is new for me. One, two, three, four. Oh, I feel something's happening there. Use over patch. Okay. Carefully pull off both. This is helpful. Um, both the little liners. So I'm not touching the insides of that because I don't want the oil from my fingers on there. And they say to use a mirror to put this on. I'm going to use you all. Gosh. 
there. Carefully pull off both clear liners one at a time. Don't touch the white adhesive area. Did I do that right? Use the colored tab. Rub round over patch and use tab to peel off the colored liner. Oh, okay, so there's a tab there and There we go. Okay, I pull off the colored liner and this is what I'm left with. Okay, and rub around the over patch. I did that. Adhesive patch care. And then there's a pairing code. Find the pairing code on the applicator you used and take a photo to pair faster. So I push take photo using that and then I do photo is supposed to be taken automatically. There we go. And then it says pair with, also allow access to contacts and call history pair. And it says to always keep my phone within 20 feet of my sensor. That makes sense. Because it uses Bluetooth, pairing complete. Throw out applicator and follow local guidelines. I don't know what that means. All right, I understand. And now it says 20, I have a sensor warm up. There's 23 more minutes for my sensor to warm up. And then I can learn more. And it's going to tell me what glucose is and why glucose matters. What's the target range? I think it said it was going to give my target range is 70 to 140. I'm glad to hear that. Um, it has some settings. I can do some learning. Oh, it has a thing, of um, some basics in there, some nutrition, exercise, sleep some basic education in there and there's some settings oh i can set my own target oh, okay so it's going to allow me to set my own target range but i can only choose from 70 to 180 or 70 to 140 so i'm choosing 70 to 140 can i change it i can change it manually that seems like the only settings that i can do and I can add, oh, and I can add events and I can add free notes. Thank God. I can add free notes, which means that I can just put in, you know, a turkey sandwich, um, steak and eggs, you know, whatever you have, you can just type it in. It doesn't have to be. Um, yeah. So there we go. So I'm going to use this for the next month or two or the next month. I might pop, might do something fun and pop a Freestyle Libre in there at the same time to compare them, maybe on the second Stello. Yeah, there we are. That's Stello. Pretty easy setup. Um, again, I'm really excited to see if this pairs with Dexcom Clarity. That is going to be a game changer. That is, that's going to be really helpful for me and my clients. Let's see how it goes. So in the comments, let me know if you have any questions, anything you want me to look at, test. Um, yeah, anything that's important for you for using this over-the-counter continuous glucose monitor. I'm excited to try.